Right, so after having a look at uh, rhythmic steps, we're going to look at the next sequencer in the new pack from Ableton, which is SQ. I've just loaded that in here. As you can see, I've got a just a basic uh, built-in um, sound, analog bass from Ableton here, uh, loaded into sampler next to it. Um, and uh, this is this sequence is obviously linked at the moment. It says as internal, so it's linked to um, the tempo of our project, uh, which we're going to make, make up to one, two, four. Okay. Now. As you, as you can see, at the moment, every uh, note in the sequence of eight steps is switched on. So, and you can make it 16 steps. I go back to, to eight for now. You can also vary the step length within that of the sequence. So, in relation to everything else that's going in your project, you could have obviously uh, effectively like a, a polyrhythm or a um, yeah an alternative sort of rhythm or uh, timing going on here. Uh, you can set the time by BPM or by um, note divisions. And there's a swing feature here, which you'd expect. Here are the main things you want to worry about, the various... Um, uh, attributes you can change pitch being the main one let's just randomize that to start with and note that we can here in scale um, link it to the main project scale which I've set as C minor so if we if we press play now and having randomized pitch let's randomize octave and we can obviously modify any of those randomized events to bring them back in line to where we want to go. Um, same with velocity. Uh, oh, and you can do a sort of an overall uh, here. I'm just, if you see this uh, column here to the right of each of these, you can make things uniform basically you know change parameter for all or re-randomize that re-randomize that uh length everything's set to max at the mo well pretty much let's just vary that and make them a bit choppier Can, I believe this may be randomized. Oh no, that's interesting. Yeah, that that is randomized steps. Interesting. So randomizes the step positions, but I think it's keeping all these settings down here on the individual um, lanes the same, which is. So you can basically audition different rhythmic patterns without changing the actual pitches or velocities, etc. of individual uh, steps. Interesting. And by the way, over here you've got page one and page two, so there's a whole other bunch of stuff. Pitch sensibly stays at the top. Um, we can, and you can adjust it visually as well as coming in here. Uh, with your mouse uh, and of course um, I'm looking at my push here and I can see that yeah I've got I've got control over everything you can see I can change start and start stop scale on or off nice uh, even stop and run <laughs> As I just realized that, as you'd expect, I suppose, uh, for some reason, I mean, because it's like a beta device, I wasn't sure this would all be in place, but it but it is. You can see um, as I change, so steps of pitch. Oh, that's quite, that's nifty. 
uh, oh, that's picture octave. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Let's see, is that changing? Ah, oh, we're on the wrong. I got to change views over here. Wait, how do we do that? Page one. Okay, now you should be able to see. There we go. Switching the octaves. So actually, once you've got this loaded up, hmm, that is nice. You can um, adjust all the parameters on here. So it starts to behave like a classic, you know, analog hardware. Uh, sequencer and of course there's nothing stopping us I'm assuming running this out as MIDI to hardware I haven't got um, anything rigged up at the moment to do that um, but I will because we're just doing a quick run through here but um, that is interesting okay so we, we get the general gist of that and there's obviously it's just so randomization of each lane good let me just put the info on because th obviously there's no manual for these yet i'm guessing we know about these these are the length so you can again as we saw in rhythmic steps you can have different um this is nice you can have different uh sequence lengths um they're not individual sequences but you can have different lengths obviously for each of the um lanes yeah, interesting. Oh, right. so to na enable that enable those individual lengths that's what that button here is length lock so they start to work individually when these are off they're all running as one okay yeah um what's this uh, i forgot to address these buttons so this shifts the sequence around so whatever you've got programmed you can shift everything like left or right or up or down in terms of pitch that's affecting let's see if i move to octave yep yeah, does no interesting okay so just to what it looks like is that feature with the cursor uh arrows you can see here um is specifically around pitch up down and shifting around and again so that that's quite nice that some of these functions like this this randomize up here is just to do with uh step positioning <laughs> This feature here is just to do with the pitches of the notes. And then, of course, you've got all the other regular functions you can do to each lane. Yeah, so. Um, ah, of course, you can change direction like any good sequencer. Uh, what does SNK mean? I see. And again, you have to lock or select the lock, lane lock, as they call it, for these direction uh, changes to be active. So we've got forward, backward, alternating, right. Okay, yeah, that makes sense.